Good morning investors, a fixed trader from topinvestmentalerts.com here this morning and I want to talk to you about the stock chart for IENT, I Entertainment Network Incorporated which is an OTC markets traded stock. So let's get started here by talking about this RSI. You'll notice that on Friday we saw a little bit of a red close here coming down 22.56%. Now this kind of helped correct the RSI which had actually reached the overbought levels as far as the 5 period RSI goes. Um, so both indicators, the 5 and 14 period RSI came down to just the low 50s which is still within the buy zone between 50 and 70 but it's at the lower end which means it has a lot more room to run up become, before it becomes into that overbought region again. So in terms of this RSI, we're still in the strength region here, with what's called the buy zone, and we're at the bottom of it, so we've got plenty of room to the upside before it needs some correction down again. Looking really good there. Let's work our way down and talk about some supports and resistances. So as a first level of support here for us, you can see that really this, uh, this 9 cent area seems to have some support at it. Just going back through the chart's history, it's been a previous support and resistance level. We're currently above it, so it should act as a support. Um, following that, we've also got the 8 cent line right here, which seems to be about our strongest support on this chart. And then as a fallback, the 7s seem pretty strong as well. So, um, just that, and keep in mind that these supports and resistances are zones more than just a straight line. So, um, this whole area between 7 and 9 seems to be a very strong support region and we've bounced, uh, after going a little bit below it, we've bounced back up really quickly. So those levels seem to be pretty strong. Now in terms of resistance, we're currently at 10 cents. Um, our first real resistance here is going to be in this uh, 13 and a half, almost 14 area, 14 cent area. Just a small one there. And then our primary resistance that we're going to want to bust through here is about 15 cents. As you can see, that's been a pretty key player on this chart. We're looking to bust through that, and then we're looking to come back to some of the highs that we saw back in last summer. So looking good overall on this chart here. Um, we're above the 13-day exponential moving average, which is one of my favorite short-term momentum indicators. So with that said, let's talk about short-term momentum here. Um, as you can see, trading above this 13 EMA is pretty significant. When we're above it, like we were back here and here, we're trading very well and seeing huge gains. Um, and then when we're below it, you know, we're seeing some consolidation, we're coming down a bit. Now currently we're above it, so we're looking to see this price action continue in a breakout formation here. Now, let's go down and talk about some of the other short-term momentum indicators. So here you've got your MACD, you can see that we got this nice bullish crossover and it's been continuing to spread here, as you can see. Um, so we're, we're gaining strength as far as that MACD goes and the Trix is showing something similar. We got that bullish crossover and it continues to separate from that, from that signal line here, so uh, looking good there. The Williams percent R, again, uh, it could look a little bit more bullish, but it is pretty bullish. Um, so the idea here is that we want this to trade and fluctuate in this zone here, which is the overbought zone. That's when you can tell that the Williams percent R indicator is very strong is when it's got this kind of action going on, kind of like a wave in this area. Um, so as you can see, we're at negative 38.39 here. Uh, we need this to go back below negative 20 here, or back above that negative 20 line right there. Um, and that will show that the Williams percent R indicator is going full bullish as well. So watch for this to bounce and as you can see this indicator is not one that generally moves slow. Um, you see nice big spikes over and over with it. Um, spikes like this. So it's not like it's going to take a while for that indicator to spike up. It'll probably happen in a day or two um, of solid action. So keep your eyes on that Williams percent R indicator. Now you can also see the Acume Distant OBV here. Um, for a while they had been going, uh, they had seen a little bit of downside and they recovered. Um, and then the OBV has kind of seen a little decline again, but it's flattened out. And um, again, the Acume Dist has also flattened out. 
So it's showing that it's just kind of ready. It's neutral right now. It's ready to start showing signs of accumulation. And then you uh, compare that to the C CMF, the chicken money flow, which is another accumulation indicator. And it's currently sitting at almost 0 0.7, 0 0.696. 0.4 is what we consider extremely bullish, so um, seeing the CMF above this uh, 0.6, almost 0.7 area is incredibly bullish um, in terms of accumulation. So keep your eyes on the stock chart. Again, remember the key levels of support and resistance. We want to really see a push through those 15 cent area really soon. We are kind of towards the bottom of this, uh, this smaller channel here at 10 cents. As you can see, got a little channel kind of in this whole area like a little box. Um, when you break a, break a channel, break a box, it's generally a pretty big move to whichever direction it goes. So we're looking to see a nice break above that 15 cent area and then see some continued action to get back to last summer's highs. So thanks for watching. Good luck trading. Remember, I'm not a, a licensed financial professional. So watch this video for entertainment purposes only and don't base a buy or sell decision on anything that I said. Thanks for watching.